Hello everyone, I am Dinesh Kumar and working as an academic head of Monologue classes. So, dear students, date of flat examination has been announced and that is 3rd December 2023. So, just like you all know that your 3 December 2023 will be going to be a flat examination. So, now you have a big problem how you prepare for the flat examination in next 6 months. So, for this problem, we have planned a strategy so that you can prepare your CLAT examination in 6 months. So, I will discuss the legal aptitude only and the other respective faculty will discuss the strategy regarding their own subjects. So, as all of you are aware that legal aptitude is one of the important subject of CLAT examination or legal aptitude may mainly I have seen various previous questions which I have seen that mainly the passages that come are law of thought se, contract constitution and current affairs So, in law, you have to qualify or you have to attempt 8 passages. Un 8 passages ko aap achhe tarikhe se kaise kar sakte hain next 6 month mein. Aaj ki is video mein hum ye samjhenge. So, first of all, you should focus on the important topics of each subject. Dekhega, aapke in 3 se 4 main subject mein और ये कोई लिमिटेशन नहीं है कि एग्जामिनर विल आस्क द पैसेजेस ओनली फ्रॉम दिस सब्जेक्ट सो इसलिए आपका लीगल पैसेजेस कहीं से भी आ सकता है तो उसके लिए क्या करना है आपको फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ ईच सब्जेक्ट क्यों क्योंकि सारे टॉपिक करने का कोई फायदा नहीं है सो इन एवरी सब्जेक्ट देयर आर सम इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया में 99% चांसेस हैं कि आपका पैसेज इट विल फॉल फ्रॉम द फंडामेंटल राइट्स आपका पैसेज फंडामेंटल राइट से ही होगा और फंडामेंटल राइट right में भी किस फंडामेंटल राइट्स right होगा सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ माय एक्सपीरियंस एंड द ऑब्जर्वेशन और एनालिसिस ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस आई कम टू द कंक्लूजन दैट it will be from article 14 to 18 ye article 14 to 18 par hoga jo ki right to equality ko batata hai similarly in ipc mein agar hum dekhen it will be from general exceptions general exceptions have been provided from section 76 to 106 agar hum indian contract act ki baat kare so it will be from section 4 to 30 so, these are the important areas of respective subject. So, what do you have to do with the students? You have to focus on the and you have to prepare a list of important topics subject wise. So, when you have to list important topics ki list bana lenge subject wise, then what you have to do next? So, first of all, you have to important topic ki list, bana hai, then you have to study the topics karenge, thoroughly. Then, you will solve the previous questions based upon these topics. Previous questions से आपको यह idea मिलेगा कि what is the nature of question, what is the difficult le difficulty level of the question. Next क्या करेंगे आप? As I told you कि general assumption यह होती है कि क्लेट में जो questions आते हैं या passages आते हैं, वो तीन या चार subjects जो कि main होते हैं उन्हीं से आते हैं. But this is not the hundred this is not hundred percent true so examiner is free that he can ask question or passages from any other subject so for that purpose aapko padna hai current legal gk current legal gk ke liye aap kya kar sakte hain you have to read one newspaper okay and that can be da hindu so da hindu is a very reliable newspaper in this regard Current legal GK में जो भी 
नेशनल और इंटरनेशनल लेवल की न्यूज हैं आपको वो कवर करनी है सेकेंडली यू ऑल्सो हैव टू प्रिपेयर द लेटेस्ट लैंडमार्क जजमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन लास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन वॉज फ्रॉम द लैंडमार्क जजमेंट इन द केस ऑफ अनुराधा अनुराधा भसीन वर्सिस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया तो दिस वॉज अ डिसीजन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन रिगार्डिंग द इंटरनेट सर्विसेज क्लोजर सेकेंडली नेक्स्ट आपको क्या करना है आपको जो लेटेस्ट लॉ कमीशन की रिपोर्ट आती हैं उनको पढ़ना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे हेट स्पीच है तो हेट हेट स्पीच पर जो भी लॉ कमीशन की रिपोर्ट आएंगी वो आपको प्रिपेयर करनी है नेक्स्ट जो भी हमारे लेटेस्ट बिल हैं या पार्लियामेंट के द्वारा एक्ट पास किए जाते हैं यू हैव टू बी अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दोज एक्ट्स ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्या करना है आपको यू हैव टू इंक्रीज योर रीडिंग हैबिट रीडिंग हैबिट आप कैसे इंक्रीज कर सकते हैं द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मैथड ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग योर रीडिंग हैबिट इज द न्यूज पेपर सो यू हैव टू गिव एट लीस्ट वन आवर और वन एंड हाफ आवर डेली टू द न्यूज पेपर यू कैन नॉट मिस न्यूज पेपर रीडिंग ठीक है इस पर आप क्या कर सकते हैं कि आप इसमें थोड़ा सा रीडिंग हैबिट को इंक्रीज करें फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इनिशियली ये हो सकता है कि आपको कुछ चीज़ें समझ में आएँ कुछ चीज़ें ना समझ में आएँ बट ग्रेजुअली इफ यू विल प्रैक्टिस दिस देन यू विल हैव मास्टरी ओवर द रीडिंग हैबिट ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्या करेंगे आप क्योंकि रीडिंग हैबिट आपके लिए इसलिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट है कि यू विल गेट ओनली फोर्टी सेकेंड टू रीड एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन द क्लेट एग्जामिनेशन नेक्स्ट अगर आपकी रीडिंग हैबिट अच्छी नहीं होगी तो यू विल मिस सम क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट सॉल्व वेरियस मॉक टेस्ट तो आपको बहुत ज्यादा मॉक टेस्ट और सेक्शन टेस्ट को सॉल्व करना है इट विल गिव यू एन एज रिगार्डिंग द प्रैक्टिस सो जब आप बहुत सारे मॉक टेस्ट सॉल्व करेंगे तो इससे आपको प्रैक्टिस होगी और इसमें बहुत सारी कमियां भी आपके सामने आएंगी बहुत सारी डिफिकल्टीज भी आपको आएंगी बट फाइनली You will become refined gradually. And next है do not repeat your mistake. देखिएगा मिस्टेक करना कोई बुरी बात नहीं है मिस्टेक कोई भी व्यक्ति कर सकता है लेकिन मिस्टेक को रिपीट करना गलत होता है तो इसीलिए आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू टू सॉल्व मॉक वेरियस मॉक टेस्ट और सेक्शन टेस्ट जिससे क्या होगा कि जब आप मॉक टेस्ट देखेंगे या सेक्शन टेस्ट करेंगे उसका कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ये होगा कि बाय द टाइम ऑफ योर डेट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन यू विल बी इन द पोजीशन दैट यू विल नॉट कमिट मिस्टेक इन योर फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द स्ट्रेटेजी अबाउट द लीगल एप्टीट्यूड एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द सेशन विल बी टेकन बाय द रेस्पेक्टिव फैकल्टी सो थैंक यू वेरी मच गुड बाय एवरी वन वेलकम टू दाइन सेशन ऑफ मनूला क्लासेस माई नेम ब्रिजेश In today's session, I am going to discuss how you can perform better within six months in the upcoming CLAT examination, which is scheduled on 3rd December. All right. So let us start. Keeping the English section in mind, you have to be very, very careful regarding what are the things that are going to be the part of this examination. So we have been seeing the trend from 2020 onwards that there has been no grammar, no sign of grammar in CLAT examination. So you do not need to study grammar. Some basic grammar that you have studied till 10th will work and will suffice the need. All right. For reading comprehension, what you need to do is you have to build. a great vocabulary you have to compile vocabulary take make a list of vocabulary and accordingly you will be able to solve the reading comprehension questions okay so those vocab will be the prior thing that you need to do if you are a beginner in english ensure that you have a handy newspaper that you can study all right so in brief today we will be discussing what are some things that are required when the exam is uh, when you have 6 month in your hand all right so sabse pehle if you haven't started reading newspaper so far diligently start it start it in a way that makes you feel like yes you are putting some effort over your english you should know yourself better than anyone else right so you know very well that where you lack your teacher doesn't know you because uh, obviously he is teaching around 10 student 20 students so he is like focusing on all at the same time but you are the sole responsibility also yourself so ensure that when you are solving a reading comprehension you know what exactly problems you are facing all right so one hour 
reading is very very important if you are going to write this flat examination what would you do now the question is what would you do during that period of time all right so if i make this paper before you of editorial section what you need to do simply there are four articles in this uh, editorial section this article consists of 450 words and this article consists of 1250 word plus words right again this is 450 and this is 1250 what you need to do is read one article give around five to six minutes for reading it ensure that the words that are alien to you that you do not know make a note of these words in a copy in a separate copy and also after doing that cut this passage cut this uh, part and paste it in that copy because we tend to sell our newspapers why, why what is the reason that i'm telling you to cut it because you need to revise also and we when we sell newspaper you will not be able to revise and mugging up vocabulary is not recommended though you can cut it and paste it in the copy and when you revise do read the article instead of learning the vocabulary in that way you will be learning the contextual meaning of that particular word because CLAT tends to ask questions based upon contextuality not the exact meaning okay so that's where you will practice uh, contextual word the same exercise we have to do with these two just invest your time reading these two for sake of English for these one you can go for legal reasoning and GK this is not that recommended but these two article every day you have to read at least thrice for the first time when you read you will have vocab power build up for the second time when you read you will have some speed because you have just read that article so there will be speed and with vocabulary you know right so first time you will be figure figure out you will be able to figure out what is the meaning of that particular word and then next reading you will impl imply those words that you've just learned and in the third reading, uh, reading you will have accuracy you will understand what the writer exactly tries to tell you so this is what you need to practice for reading comprehension section because uh, mostly passages are from non-fiction and non-fiction are tend to be little uh, not interesting in comparison to the fiction one because fictions are so alluring that you take it sometimes even to your washroom when you are uh, when you are so much indulged into a novel which is based on fiction but ensure that you have to get this habit of reading non-fiction things even though they are they seem little uh, dull but make sure you have to read them even though it is dull get this habit because the the, the study that you are to go you are, you want to go is for law so for law you need to have that practice of reading non-fiction things all right so same you have to do with this article also so just read two articles a day this will take around 30 minutes of your time in a day then rest 30 minutes at least solve rcs so if it is taking one hour to you if you are a beginner ensure that you are doing same exercise with all the four articles that are there in the newspaper for you reading this four article will suffice the need of the flat reading comprehension section as soon as you read it you need to make sure that you are practicing also so solve rcs daily at least two rcs daily you have to solve before you sleep so you would be thinking sir two hour two rcs means 10 minutes so if you say sir i do not have 10 minutes that that will be an irony for me because you are preparing for clad and that requires rigorous practice over english specifically because every section of clad examination has passages and passages are in english so that's why the weightage of uh, english is 110 percent i would say vocab book is the book that i just shared you to do uh, to paste pasting articles will help you definitely because you will keep reading them you will keep understanding your speed accuracy and knowledge will also grow right it is not the matter of only vocabulary it is the matter of reading contextual meaning plus uh, retaining so as many time as you read an article you become proficient as at the same time your accuracy gets improved that's why i recommend every student who is preparing for clat out there ensure that you are reading that article and pasting it and rereading it and then pasting it and rereading it this is what you need to do english grammar knowledge of english grammar is needed for a let examination also when when we'll making the video of a let you will, you may refer to the video that we have we are also making on uh, a let one so there english grammar is needed for for clat i would ensure that not needed
then previous year questions so only questions they, those are based upon passages you must read them because that's where you will understand how passages play a vital role and what kind of passages CLAT exam targets and takes in examination what are the sources it uses so by reading let's say CLAT happened and the, the change pattern happened in 2022 so then, then you have 2021 paper 2022 paper in 2022 they do they did it two times right in june and in july for 2023 right so now you have four year paper and and the good news is each paper has six passages six into four equal to 24 passages right so if you are reading these 22 24 passages you will have fair idea over what clad consortium targets as a passage what they want to do last come practice practice and practice because practicing is the key english is something that is known by everybody only something that is that people lack is vocabulary so as much as you work over vocabulary your confidence in reading comprehension will boost and accordingly you will get to be very good at solving reading comprehension so i hope you would do what we discussed in this video today thank you so much for watching the video keep keep up with us because other faculty will be making their sections as well all the best hello friends now in this section i am going to discuss the strategy for clad 2024 what you have to do for the next six months for taking GK and current affairs section of CLAT 2024. So, before moving to the strategy, you should be clear with the syllabus, the key points in the syllabus, so that whenever you are referring to any sources like newspaper or magazine or whatever resources you are referring for your CLAT 2024 GK preparation, so you should have a pointer in your mind very much clear. So, if I break down the syllabus based on the syllabus provided by the clad consortium and the past year papers so the important topics which we have to keep in mind while doing general knowledge and current affairs sections are the first is international affairs that is the, the topic which you should keep in mind international affairs whatever international affairs are going on let me cite some example for example, the important international affairs like Russia-Ukraine crisis, then the reproachment of Saudi Arabia and Iran mediated by China, then if you will see the uh, coming of Syria in uh, Arab League. So these are some of the very important international affairs news which is very important and sometimes the questions are asked. The next pointer which is very important is national issues, national affairs. Okay, so for example, like parties getting recognized as national party then the uh, collision of trains in Balasov in Odisha then the cover system then cyclone mocha these are some of the important national issues national topics which become important for the CLAT exam so the first is international affairs then the next is national news then something related to art and culture Then there are certain events which have occurred in the past but their significance still lies in the present. For example, if something is asked about the India-China border issue. Now this is something which is related to our past also. But what is happening since 1962, the development since 1962. For that you don't have to refer to any books. If you will see that if you read the Hindu editorials, so the background of any topic is covered clearly over there. So the next is historical events of continuing significance then after this some of the topics which are very important are like landmark judgments or important judgments of supreme court Awards, Sports, Defense, Space Technology, then Science and Technology,
then economics. Now friends, in economics, you have to be very much aware about the economics events which are happening along with that terminologies in economics which are very important. Okay, so important economic, you can say that economic policies, events and terminologies. Then index and reports. So these are the list of some important topics, some important uh, part of your syllabus which you have to always focus while reading the newspaper or any issues you are referring to. Okay, the last one is important international and multi-regional organizations. So for example, if some news is related to United Nations, for example, that US is trying to come to UNESCO again, so here the UNESCO becomes important, then uh, about uh, BRICS, G20, G7, Quad, if some summits are happening, so outcome of those summits, who are the members of those groupings, those things are very important, okay. So these are some of the key pointers which you have to keep in mind while preparing for GK and current affairs for CLAT or any other law entrance exam. Okay, now moving to what you have to do and what you don't have to do. These are some very important uh, things. First thing which you have to do while you are preparing for general knowledge and current affairs is know the past to know the future. That is very important. Okay, now what I am saying is that to know the future, you should know the past first. So what is the past year? The past is past year papers and syllabus. That will give you the idea that how the paper is set, what is the level of the... Uh, questions which have been set, how the options are being framed. So this will give you a clear idea that whenever you are reading the newspaper, what type of information you should look for. That is very important for preparing for general knowledge and current affairs, especially given the vast information which you have to go every day and you have to then filter it out that what is important. So for that, analyzing the syllabus and past year papers are very important. So I have already given you the key pointers in syllabus over here. You can jot it down which will help you. What you can do over here is that make the list of all these important topics which you have to do from the newspaper and you can just stick it on your study table wherever you want to so that every time you are clear with the pointers that what are the important topics which are asked in exam. Then going to the past year paper you have to identify certain things like in CLAT while you are analyzing the past year papers. So you have to analyze the type of questions being asked, the type of topics which is being asked in the exam. Okay. So here you have to identify the diversity of topics. Then from what all important topics the questions are coming. Okay. So in CLAT you have passage based questions. But mind it that in for example in the last CLAT the, instead of asking 5 questions per passage they were asking 7 questions per passage. So if they are giving you passage you have to identify that how many questions are coming from current affairs related to the passage and how many of them are static in nature okay so you have to identify and then the second thing will be once you are done with this first exercise identifying the different topics from which the questions are coming you have to at least analyze three years past CLAD papers okay after that then you have to look at the options the way the options are put okay you will find out that sometimes the uh, options put by the CLAD is quite uh, confusing sometimes sometimes you will see that two options can be eliminated easily or sometimes the two options are very much near okay fine so you have to see the types of options being asked so that will give you the picture that what type of information you have to look into while doing any issue Okay, so that will be the second thing while you are analyzing the past year papers. Fine. So, you have to identify the nature of question. The nature of question. When I say nature of question, basically what you are doing is that you have to study the level of difficulty. Okay. 
here you will see the level of difficulty and once this is done level of difficulty agar ek bar ho gaya aapka to ab wo fir types of options options kis tarike se put kiye ja rahe hain so here you will find it out that some options are put in such a way that you have to know the answer there is no choice there you cannot eliminate any of the options if you don't know the answer then there you will find some questions that where you can eliminate at least two option okay or one option okay so accordingly you have to see the nature of questions and based on that what are the nature of options fine so this tasks are done once you have done this then you have to come for books and sources for exams now mind it in gk and current affairs you will have plethora of resources available in the market but still i say that today also the best source for this exam is still the newspaper okay so the best source for this exam is newspaper okay so this is the best source for preparing gk and current affairs now you will ask me which newspaper so you have two newspaper the hindu or indian express you can opt any of these two as per your taste okay after that once you are clear with the topics once you know that this type of questions are asked uh, this uh, the questions are coming from this type of topics so you will see that you do not require to read the whole newspaper you will see that exactly you just have to read 30% or maximum 40% of the newspaper not more than that if you are new in reading the newspaper you can follow our channel manu law classes private limited over there we are every day daily news analysis is posted where the hindu is discussed okay so that will help you in identifying the important how to read the newspaper what are, what are the important topics which i have to study from the newspaper means which you have to study from the newspaper so that will help you in cultivating the habit of reading the newspaper effectively effectively means you are reading only those portions in the newspaper which are important for your exam you are not reading any political masala you are not reading any bollywood masala you are not reading any those types of news which are occurring every day that the that, that crime this much of people the same accident has happened all this type of okay so things like uh, i am not comparing this with bala sol but the bala sol thing is very important you have to uh, cover it but the small small news okay so you will come to know apart from that if you are still saying that there should be some source also so uh, after reading the newspaper you can go for monthly compilation or monthly current affairs pdf for the quick revision okay then the fourth thing where you have to focus is that you have to make your own notes making your own notes is very important so that you can revise it during your exam now whenever you are making the notes make sure that you are not copying from the newspaper directly you have to identify those important keywords which after writing in your notes you will be able to recall all the information related to that issue so making your own notes is a very good habit and revising it on a weekly frequency will definitely give you a better edge the next is revision and mock test so in gk and current affairs revision is going to play a very crucial role otherwise you are going to forget the facts very, uh, very soon if you don't keep on revising it so make sure that whatever you are doing at least once in a week you revise it okay so weekly revision is again very important and then mock test mock test and analysis of mock test normally people have a tendency to say that hum baad mein mock test de denge hum baad mein karenge hum exam ke do mahina karenge but my idea is once you have started the preparation you are just 6 month away from the exam right from now start giving mock test okay if you start giving the mock test you will come to know where you are going uh, wrong okay whether your strategy is working or not so you will come to identify the loopholes in your preparation and you will be able to fix it before time okay if you are practicing mock test just two months before the exam so it will be too late to edit, to know your mistakes and then to rectify them six months is still a very good time to start giving the mock test identifying the loopholes in your strategy and preparation and giving it a regular boost okay so these are the important strategy for the six months you have to follow the strategy is very simple analyze the past year of paper and syllabus identify the nature of topics ask an exam based on that identify the best source for your exam newspaper and a monthly pdf then 
start making your own notes keep daily revision and give mock test and then make your own strategy okay so these are the clear cut strategy for gpn current affairs now do's and don'ts so what is required and what is not required the requirement is daily habit of reading newspaper is very important you should not procrastinate on reading the newspaper ki kal kar lenge parso kar lenge aisa kabhi hota nahi you have to make the daily habit of reading the newspaper then making your own notes then daily and weekly revision is also very important then plan your day week and month in advance normally aap pehle se hi apna pehle pura month ka ek strategy ek month ka milestones decide kar lo फिर उसको वीक में डिवाइड कर लो फिर उसको डेज में डिवाइड कर लो यू शुड नो बिफोर हैंड दैट दिस मंथ वॉट इज योर टारगेट दिस वीक वॉट इज योर टारगेट दिस पर्टिकुलर डे वॉट इज योर टारगेट वाई टू इट विल हेल्प यू टू अवॉइड प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन इफ यू डोंट प्लान यू आर प्लानिंग फॉर फेलियर दैट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्लानिंग ओके देन टेस्ट योर सेल्फ प्रियोडिकली बेस्ड ऑन द लेटेस्ट पैटर्न दैट इज गिविंग मॉक टेस्ट बेस्ड ऑन लेटेस्ट पैटर्न एंड यू शुड नोट that you should give the mock test which has answer key as well as explanation for the answers for the questions okay then keep yourself motivated by reading good books uh, or uh, by uh, looking uh, or by looking at the video or viewing those videos which gives you motivation self motivation so always keep self motivated because your six month time we are all human sometimes uh, we can get under pressure but mind it that this is a part of the any exam you give in your life so always stay motivated okay then what you have to avoid is procrastination then wasteful reading in newspaper sometimes we enjoy reading uh, masalas in newspaper you have to avoid it then do not use your social media excessively jaise ki maan lijiye ki aap ek hi material 10 jagah se le rahe ho aur 10 jagah ka material pad raha ho ek hi material tha usko acche se padho aapka kaam ho jayega for example i have seen uh, that there is a tendency among the students that they want to do monthly current affairs and they are downloading 10 types of magazines from 10 different uh, sources okay and doing all the 10 okay don't go for that pick up one standard source okay and stick to it till your exam is finished okay so these are some of the things which you don't have to do in your preparation okay so these are the strategies these are the things which you have to follow for your exam all of you one let's start a very important topic that what will be the best strategy for last 6 months for the clat exam so again clat is very important exam for all the law aspirants i know but what will be the good strategy correct so again if we start with the critical listening part it's a very complicated part and very toughest part from the aspirants points of view so actually you have to start with the basics of critical listening so today i will discuss what will be the key points to solve critical listening questions start with simple questions so you can learn how to answer topics requiring critical thought right means start with the simple questions what the, what does it means means you just start with the three liner four liner passage questions then after you have to think and you have to just eliminate that option means what the authors want to say in the passage and what the refers what could be the best conclusion what could be the best assumption but again the main confusing point for the critical reasoning yes you are starting with the simple strategy but what the strategy of that simple questions right so the simple st question strategy will be you have to just go with statement assumption first what i said the first will be statement assumption you have to go with statement and assumption then after you have to come to statement conclusion then after you have to go to statement argument and this statement argument will have two things strengthen the argument and weaken the argument and finally you come to the statement and inference so again the line which we have to move that start the start the understanding of critical listening with statement and assumption that will help you out that will start you, you will start and you will realize that a statement assumption is a interesting and the initial topic to strong make your critical listening more strong so what could be the other way solve at least two cr passage daily from any sources so that's depend on you how you are solving 
and from which source you are taking but at least two passages CR passages should be done then coming to the DI part means quant section most of the students are afraid in data interpretation sir how to do and what will be the strategy in last six months so from my my point of view if data interpretation you have to make an exam so before that you have to make strong your arithmetic maths means the basic few topics there are few topics you have to deal with in arithmetic maths you have to make strong that is percentage ratio proportion then average profit loss time and work and sdt speed distance time so again if you have done this question these six topics i am definitely that you will score a very good marks in the CLAD di paper how i am saying that because arithmetic maths is a basic maths of aptitude if you have done these six chapters you will easily tackle all the di problem so what i want to suggest you you just start with arithmetic maths do practice one month or take one and half month for this six topics right means it can be done in one month only but take one month and one and a half month for solving this six topics then after solving this six topic you just move to di section and in di then you have to move to table graph bar graph pie chart line and case lay as you know all that on the case lay the question has been asked in previous year CLAT exam so again this will be further sacrificed in table the percentage question will be there profit loss question will be there try to solve this all five kinds of data interpretation question then after you will get a good score in the examination i hope you got the good information from here thank you so much